Hello and welcome. Thank you very much for joining our Songs of Praise service today. If you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for coming back. And if you are new to us, then thank you for joining. The format will be as it has been in the past. There will be a selection of hymns chosen by people in the congregation and uh, a reading and some prayers. Now today's hymns and songs are all quite different. Introduced for us by Carol Smith, uh, Jane Dunkley and Steve Westwood. Uh, we hope you very much enjoy their choices and enjoy singing along with them and together as we worship uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. A brief update about progress on the advertising of our vacancy. Uh, the applications for the role for Interim Rector closed on the 11th of September and from which four applications were received by the Archdeacon. These applications have now been shortlisted to three people who will come forward to interview on the 28th of September and from which we very much hope we can make a selection decision. Between now and then, please hold the applicants in your prayers and for the people from across the parishes who will be uh, meeting them and interviewing them so that we can together form a good view about how the an individual's gifts meet our particular needs and can help Crick, Lilborn and Yelvatoft more move forward in faith to grow the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ here in this place. That's worth praying for, I think. And so let's start our service this morning by coming to our opening words. We start our service this morning with these opening words. Welcome in the name of Christ to our songs of praise. May God's grace, mercy and peace be with you this day. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs. Sing to God with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord, all you his people. The Lord's name be praised. And so let's sing our first hymn together, chosen this morning by Carol, which she will now introduce. Brother, sister, let me serve you is sometimes called the servant song, and it is one of my favourite hymns. For me, the words are challenging, particularly in the light of our current situation. Many of us have been very grateful for kind deeds and offers of help over recent months, sometimes even from strangers. We do thank God for all those who have provided encouragement and continue to do so. May each of us also continue to have a true servant heart as we journey through life together. Oh 
this journey through When we sing to God in heaven We shall find such harmony For of all we've known together Of Christ's love and agony Brother, sister, Thank you, Carol, for your hymn choice. It was a lovely way to start our service today. And now we come to our gospel reading, read for us this morning by Michaela. Today's reading is from Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. The parable of the workers in the vineyard. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard. About nine in the morning, he went out and saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. He told them, you also go and work in my vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. He went out again about noon and about three in the afternoon and did the same thing. About five in the afternoon, he went out and found still others standing around. He asked them, Why have you been standing here all day long doing nothing? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, You also go and work in my vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Call the workers and pay them their wages beginning with the last ones hired and going on to the first. The workers who were hired about five in the afternoon came and each received a denarius. So when those who came were who were hired first, they expected to receive more. But each one of them also received a denarius. When they received it, they began to grumble against the landowner. These who were hired last worked only one hour, they said. And you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the work and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them, I am not being unfair to you, friend. Didn't you agree to work for a denarius? Take your pay and go. I want to give the one who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first and the first will be last. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Michaela. And now we come to our second hymn. That's right. Our wonderful friend John has a very special birthday coming up soon. This Tuesday, in fact. John knew nothing about this, so surprise, John. I'm sorry if it's a little embarrassing, but we just couldn't let this birthday pass without a few words. John has been a member of St Margaret's Church for 25 years now. During this time, he's played an active role in the life of the church 
especially with his many musical talents playing the piano and organ at services and Christmas events, but he's probably best known for livening up the family services by playing the accordion. He's also a very accomplished singer, as those of you who sit near him in the pews will know. But so far, we haven't managed to induct him into the choir, but there's still time, John. He is a much respected member of the PCC and is also our stewardship officer. During the last 11 months, John has also shown his fantastic leadership skills by becoming the chair of the PCC, leading us through our interregnum and through the difficulties of managing the church through the COVID pandemic. John, we want to thank you for all your hard work and your dedication to the benefits throughout this time. You're a very valued and appreciated member and we wish you a very happy 60th birthday from all of your church family. And now we come to our second hymn, which has been chosen for us this morning by Jane, which she'll now introduce. Thank you, John, for asking me to choose a favourite hymn. I have chosen Peace I Give to You, as we often sing it at the end of our home group meeting. I'd like to tell you how the home group started about 10 years ago. I went on an Alpha course that David was leading and I learnt so much and when finished I want to be able to carry on in a similar way, talking and learning about faith and relationship. On sun one Sunday I said to David, we need a home group now, can you start one? He replied, you can start your own. Ray and Carol said that they would host it in their house. Little did they know how long they would be doing it. We started a group and sang at the beginning and we ended with, peace I give to you. And as we sang, we would look round at each other and feel the peace, joy, hope, love flowing and joined us together and we felt we had a bond. So as you sing along this morning, imagine please joy, hope and love flowing out of you to others who are listening and pray you will feel connected. Love I give to 
Thank you, Jane, for that lovely reflective song. Uh, and now we come to the Creed, which we'll say together. We believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist. We believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again. We believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known to the world. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now we come to our time of prayer, led for us this morning by Brian and Hazel. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for governments coming together next year, re climate change and the extinction debate. Pray that they will put the world interest before self interest. Help us to be good stewards of your beautiful world. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray too for those fighting bushfires in America which are raging out of control. We pray especially for those who lost loved ones and homes as a result of, a result of that fire. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We pray for refugees affected by the fire on the Greek island of Lesbos. They have lost so much already as they seek a new home. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you, Father, for the interest shown already in the vacancy of this benefice. We pray for our PCC as it seeks to find the new rector for our three churches. Give wisdom to those involved in finding the right person, the one you have in mind who will help us grow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the government as it seeks to sort out the testing of COVID virus, that ministers will put the health of the nation before all else. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray especially, Lord, for those, all those who are suffering at this time, in mind or body or spirit. Please bring them the comfort of your presence. Amen. Say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom power and, and the glory, glory forever, forever and, ever. and ever. Amen. Thank you Brian and Hazel for your lovely prayers once again. And now we come to our thanksgiving which we'll say together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we your unworthy servants give you most humble and hearty thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all people. We bless you for our creation, preservation and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And give us, we pray, such a sense of all your mercies that our hearts may be genuinely thankful and that we show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving ourselves to your service and by living in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit 
for your honour and glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And now we come to our final song, which is a worship song chosen for us by Steve Westwood. Your ears are not deceiving you when you hear Steve's introduction. You have heard it before. Uh, we heard it for the August service and then through a blip in our production, we then managed to play the uh, wrong hymn. Uh, my apologies to Stephen and Marie, but here we go. Uh, we look forward to hearing your song choice and your introduction once again. This song carries a deep meaning for us. It summarises the change of mindset when you truly place your trust in God and receive the mental freedom that comes with it. That is not to say the daily challenges disappear, but our perspectives change, as does our ability to cope. Above all, we see everyone else as a child of God, even if they don't yet know it. You unravel me with a melody You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears have come. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. Yeah. 
Thanks, Steve, for that uplifting worship song to end our service today. It really was worth waiting for, wasn't it? And we hope that both you and Amory are well and enjoying your time uh, out in the West Indies. And so this brings us to the end of our service today. Thank you to all who have contributed with their hymn choices, to Michaela for her reading, and Brian and Hazel for their prayers. Thank you for joining us. Next week, we have got Little Saints on Sunday as our online service. We will be meeting in church uh, where it will be a Holy Communion service. And the St Margaret's Meditation, which would normally run alongside the Little Saints, will probably be posted at a later date. Um, Reverend John Seaman will be preaching at the in church service and the plan is to record what he has to say and then put that up online. Anyway, however you choose to engage with us next week, we look forward to welcoming you and have a good week. <laughs>